Vaipulya Sutra of Sri Mala's Lion's Roar that reveals the great skillful means of the one vehicle, a Mahayana Sutra, translated from Sanskrit into Chinese in the Liu Song dynasty by the Tripitaka master Gunabhadra from India. Homage to all past, future, and present Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Pachika Buddhas, and Shravakas. Verse for opening a sutra, the unsurpassed profound and wonderful Dharma is difficult to encounter in hundreds of millions of aeons. I now see and hear it, receive and uphold it, and I vow to fathom that the target is true meaning. Chapter 4 Accepting the True Dharma Then Sri Mala said to the Buddha, Through the Buddha's awesome power, I would like to condense my vast vows into what they truly are. The Buddha said, You have my permission to speak. Sri Mala said to the Buddha, All vows as numerous as the sense of the Ganges which are made by a bodhisattva, are encompassed in one vast vow, the vow of accepting the true Dharma. Accepting the true Dharma is truly a vast vow. The Buddha praised Sri Mala, Very good, very good. Your wisdom and skill are profound and wonderful because you have planted roots of goodness in the long night. Among future sentient beings, only those who have long planted roots of goodness can understand your words. You can expound the meaning of accepting the true Dharma, just as past Buddhists expounded it. Present Buddhists do expound it, and future Buddhists will expound it. As I now have attained the unsurpassed body, I too often expound the meaning of accepting the true Dharma. Indeed, I say that as the merit acquired by accepting the true Dharma is boundless, so too a Tathagata's wisdom and eloquence are boundless. Why? Because accepting the true Dharma has great virtues and great benefits. The vast meaning of accepting the true Dharma. Sri Mala said to the Buddha, Through the Buddha's spiritual power, I would like to expound the vast meaning of accepting the true Dharma. The Buddha said, Speak. Sri Mala said, the vast meaning of accepting the true Dharma is immeasurable. Accepting the true Dharma means acquiring the entire Buddha Dharma and gathering 84,000 Dharma doors, Dharma Parayaya. As an analogy, when a new kalpa begins, vast clouds form and send down colorful rings and various treasures. Likewise, Accepting the true Dharma rains down immeasurable, fortunate requitals and countless roots of goodness. Well, honored one, as another analogy, when a new kalpa begins, vast waters gather and form a three thousand large thousand fold world with four hundred koti continents of different kinds. Likewise, Accepting the true Dharma gives rise to the Mahayana's store of immeasurable realms, the transcendental powers of all bodhisattvas, worldly security, happiness, gratification and ease, supraworldly peace and joy, and even virtues that gods and humans have never before had. As another analogy, the great earth bears four heavy burdens. What are these four? They are 1. Vast seas 2. Mountains 
three, grass and trees, and four, sentient beings. Likewise, a good man or woman who accepts the true Dharma can, like the great earth, perform four heavy tasks. What are these four? They are, one, giving a gods or humans roots of goodness to bring to spiritual maturity those who stay away from beneficent, learned friends, do not hear the Dharma or engage in non-Dharma's evil karmas. Two, giving the voice hearer vehicle to those who seek it. Three, giving the Pacheka Buddha vehicle to those who seek it. Four, giving the Mahayana to those who seek it. These are the four heavy tasks that a good man or woman who accepts the true Dharma can, like the great earth, perform. Indeed, world on it one, a good man or woman who accepts the true Dharma can, like the great earth, perform these four heavy tasks, befriend sentient beings unasked, pity and comfort sentient beings with great compassion, and become a Dharma mother of the world. As another analogy, the great earth has four treasure stores. What are these four? They are treasures of 1. Low price, 2. Medium price, 3. High price, and 4. Pricelessness. These are the great earth's four treasure stores. Likewise, a good man or woman who accepts the true Dharma has, like the great earth, four supreme treasures. What are these four? They are 1. Giving a gods or humans roots of goodness to those who do not hear the Dharma but engage in non-dharmas. 2. Giving the voice hear a vehicle to those who seek it. 3. Giving the Pacheka Buddha vehicle to those who seek it. 4. Giving the Mahayana to those who seek it. From a good man or woman who accepts the true Dharma, a sentient being can receive such great treasures which are extraordinary and rare benefits. World on it one, producing great treasure stores is accepting the true Dharma. World on it one, what is meant by accepting the true Dharma? The action of accepting the true Dharma is no different from the true Dharma. The true Dharma is the action of accepting the true Dharma. Practicing the Paramitas is accepting the true Dharma. World on it one. Practicing the Paramitas is no different from accepting the true Dharma. Accepting the true Dharma means practicing the Paramitas. Why? Because a good man or woman who accepts the true Dharma practices the six paramitas in the following way. For those who should be brought to spiritual maturity through almsgiving, he or she gives them alms, not even sparing his or her body parts to bring them to spiritual maturity according to their mentalities and enable them to abide in the true Dharma. This is called Dana Paramita, the almsgiving Paramita. For those who should be brought to spiritual maturity through observing the precepts, he or she protects his six faculties, purifies his or her body, voice and mind karmas, and displays the four majestic departments, walking, standing still, sitting, and lying down, 
to bring them to spiritual maturity according to their mentalities and enable them to abide in the true Dharma. This is called Sila Paramita, the precept Paramita. For those who should be brought to spiritual maturity through enduring adversity, he or she endures their abusive words, insults, slanders, and threats with an altruistic mind and the foremost endurance without anger or even changing color to bring them to spiritual maturity according to their mentalities and enable them to abide in the true Dharma. This is called Kanti Paramita, the Endurance Paramita. For those who should be brought to spiritual maturity through making energetic progress, he or she helps them with a tireless mind, makes the foremost energetic progress with great aspirations, and displays the four majestic departments to bring them to spiritual maturity according to their mentalities and enable them to abide in the true Dharma. This is called Virya Paramita, the Progress Paramita. For those who should be brought to spiritual maturity through practicing meditation, he or she uses an undisturbed mind, an undistracted mind, and the foremost right mindfulness that never forgets what he or she did or said long ago to bring them to spiritual maturity according to their mentalities and enable them to abide in the true Dharma. This is called Dhyana Paramita, the Meditation Paramita. For those who should be brought to spiritual maturity through developing wisdom, he or she uses a fearless mind to answer their questions about all meanings of the Dharma and expounds to them all doctrines, all studies, and even various technical skills to bring them to spiritual maturity according to their mentalities and enable them to abide in the true Dharma. This is called Prachna Paramita, the Wisdom Paramita. Therefore, world on at one, practicing the Paramitas is no different from accepting the true Dharma. Accepting the true Dharma means practicing the Paramitas. Relinquishing three things to accept the true Dharma. World on at one. Through the Buddha's awesome spiritual power, I would like to further expound the vast meaning of accepting the true Dharma. The Buddha said, Speak. Sri Mala said to the Buddha, What is meant by accepting the true Dharma? The action of accepting the true Dharma is no different from the person who accepts the true Dharma. A good man or woman who accepts the true Dharma is the action of accepting the true Dharma. Why? Because to accept the true Dharma, a good man or woman relinquishes three things. What are these three? They are 1. Body 2. Life and 3. Wealth He or she relinquishes his or her body throughout future births and deaths, leaving behind old age, illness and death to acquire a Tathagata's indestructible, ever-abiding and changeless Dharma body, Dharmakaya, with inconceivable virtues. He or she relinquishes his or her life throughout future births and deaths to become absolutely free from death, acquire the limitless, ever-abiding and inconceivable virtues 
and fully understand the entire profound Buddha Dharma. He or she relinquishes his or her wealth to acquire the endless, never diminishing, ever abiding, and inconceivable virtues unavailable to other sentient beings, and to receive excellent offerings from other sentient beings. Well, on it one, a good man or woman who relinquishes these three things to accept the true Dharma is remembered by all Buddhas and respected by all sentient beings. Well, on it one, when the Dharma is ending, while bhikshus, bhikshunis, upasakas, and upasikas will destroy the sangha, split into factions, dispute and disperse. A good man or woman who accepts the true dharma without sycophancy, deceit, or falsity will delight in the true dharma and join dharma friends. Joining dharma friends means that he or she will definitely receive a good prophecy from Buddhas. Well, on it one, I see the great power of accepting the true Dharma. I also know and see that the Buddha is the true I, the one with true wisdom knowledge, the root of the true Dharma, the imparter of the true Dharma, and the reliance of the true Dharma. Immeasurable virtues and benefits of accepting the true Dharma, then the will on it one, express sympathetic joy over Sri Mala's words about the great awesome power of accepting the true Dharma. He said, Indeed, Sri Mala, indeed, as you say, Accepting the true Dharma has great awesome power. As an analogy, whoever is even lightly touched by a strong man feels a great deal of pain. Likewise, Sri Mala, accepting even a little of the true Dharma can distress Maras. Indeed, Sri Mala, I do not see any other good dharmas that can worry Maras as can accepting even a little of the true dharma. As another analogy, the shape and color of the ox king are unparalleled and surpass those of all other oxen. Likewise, the roots of goodness of a rider of the Mahayana who accepts even a little of the true dharma, surpass those of riders of the two vehicles. Why? Because accepting the true dharma has vast virtues. As another analogy, Mount Sumeru, king of mountains, surpasses all other mountains in size and majesty. Likewise, the roots of goodness of a new rider of the Mahayana who accepts the true Dharma with an altruistic mind, not even sparing his life or wealth, surpass those of long-time riders of Mahayana who are attached to their lives and wealth, not to mention those of riders of the two vehicles. Why? because accepting the true dharma has vast virtues. Therefore, Sri Mala, you should expound the vast meaning of accepting the true dharma to teach and establish sentient beings. Indeed, Sri Mala, accepting the true dharma brings such great benefits, such great blessings, and such great spiritual fruits Sri Mala, for countless asankhyas of kalpas, I expounded the virtues and benefits of accepting the true dharma, but never reached their limit. Indeed, accepting 
the true Dharma, has immeasurable and limitless virtues.